up. Um, so things have been pretty crazy. There's a way we can do something like that. Injection inside or, or I must have told him, as you see, that's on the lungs. and upwards of 80 deaths as of this hour, according to the Puerto Rican Health Department. And with few tests available, the island being run by an interim governor, mayors have had to work together to push for increased testing and a more robust response. Joining me now is Carmen Yulín Cruz. She's the mayor of San Juan, Puerto Rico. Mayor, as always, good to see you. The New York Times Thanks. reporting the testing severely lagging. Thousands of Americans have now died from this virus, and the number is likely much higher due to insufficient testing. At this rate, in just a few days, more Americans will have died from coronavirus over a span of roughly nine weeks than died in the Vietnam War over a span of 12 years. And in the face of the economic calamity that's also hit our- I am home from Italy. I left, or I got back um, March 1st. And yeah, it was crazy. I mean, I was there and it was like, oh, coronavirus is here, whatever, like seven cases one day, 14 cases the next day, and then it was like 200, 700. By the time I left, it was in the thousands, and then um, Stony, I had actually filmed like this whole video, and then I was ready to edit it, and I realized that it was just this and down, and I was like, well, bep. And we got sent home a couple days ago. Um, so yeah, I'm like so sad and I'm sick with like something I've been sick with for like two, I, this is like my third week now, not Corona. Um, studying abroad for the last month was like so much fun. I made so many friends and I'm just really happy to have like at least gotten the experience for a month to have like gone out and ventured and like done my stuff, you know? And the whole thing just sucks like the amount of money that i spent to study abroad like on flights on everything just it's ridiculous so one of the travel companies that i booked um greece to with and i was gonna go to spring fest in april with my roommates um bus to alps literally is giving me a 300 euro refund for the Twelve hundred dollars that I spent, twelve hundred euro that I spent on both trips. So I like contacted even like the insurance company, and they're like, "No, we can't. Like, it's out of our restrictions because the Italian government's canceling it." So why did I buy like an insurance plan? Like, the whole thing has just been such a money scam. Like from every single aspect, from my school, from this program, from like everything like they're not giving us any sort of refund i got a hotel the night before on my flight and my other uh roommate celine also like stayed in the same hotel so we like chilled out that night together got dinner our last dinner and um it was like nice my flight was from florence to frankfurt and we had to like sign this waiver thing saying that we weren't coming from china or, like had no contact with any like chinese travelers or anything like that like crazy stuff um and so i filled that out obviously i hadn't but in florence there had been four cases i think when i left of coronavirus and which like all in tuscany like there were a few cases but it wasn't as severe as the lombardi region or the veneto region which was above me i like got on my flight to jfk like i was hysterically crying the whole time because it's like i don't want to be home like this semester i was supposed to be gone and yeah, I got into JFK like coughing. So I've had this cough for like, I've just been sick for a while now, but it's like, whatever. And um, I'm like coughing, coming in. Everyone's like, like shook. Like you cannot cough in an airport without getting like numerous dirty stares. I was like, okay, everyone's chill. Like, oh my God. <coughs> but when your cough sounds like this, it's understandable. Um. But yeah, so it's just the whole thing has like really sucked the spirit out of my life. And St. Practice Day is this Saturday in Portland or tomorrow in Portland and I can't go because I'm still under quarantine, but it's okay. I'm trying to see the bright side of things, which is... 
also Stony Brook, um, which is the souvenir that I was doing the program through, even though I go to Portland, was like, oh, it's your option to come home, blah, blah, blah. Um, even though it was like already really bad there. So I was freaking out and I was like, no, I'm going home. Um, and then the day before my flight, Trump had said that it was at a level four country and that um, he was gonna start putting restrictions on travel to like Europe and stuff. So then I was like, okay, well now I'm like gonna be stuck inside Italy. It doesn't really make sense because I'm a US citizen, but whatever, I was still bugging out. Um, so I got on my flight, whatever, um, came home and I was really sick like the whole entire time. So I ended up going to the hospital the next day. They ran a ton of tests on me, urine test, um, blood test, um, x-ray, all this different stuff. And it ended up coming out that I had RSV, which is basically just like, it was just like a cough, like something, it was stupid. Um, but I felt so sick. And it was weird because like when I looked through my Snapchat memories, um, I was just sick. Like I was sick from February 5th and I got to, into Italy um, January 29th. So I was sick from February 5th to when I left. So from what the doctors told me, they said that that was RSV and that I didn't have Corona, but I mean, I don't know. It seems a little suspect. So then, um, about two weeks into me being home, my roommates in from Italy text me and they're like, yeah, I tested positive. And then another one was like, yeah, I tested positive. Wait, the stormy is like meowing right now. One of my roommates tested positive and then the other one tested positive. And this whole night, I was out with my friends, like my friends from home. And I get the text and I'm at one of their houses and I was like, guys, I am like, um, my roommates from Italy have the Rona. And we're, then we're all freaking out because I'm literally in this, like one of my friend's houses. Um, and I was like, all right, like, let me just go home and tell my mom. So I go home, um, told my mom. And then we call the CDC. We're on the phone on wait for an hour. And then finally, like, we get through and they were like, yeah, you should get tested. I was like, well, really? So, so, um... They put me on the list and that was um, probably like two weeks or maybe a week into March. Um, so I just got tested April 2nd. So it took like almost three, over three weeks um, for me to even get tested. And then by the time it came back, I was like, okay, like I probably already had Corona. Like it was crazy though. Like I'm not really sure what happened with me because I was sick the whole month that I was abroad. And then um, I got home still sick. I took, they gave me, um, they gave me medicine like at, for the RSV and um, inhaler. So I was like doing all that, still sick, like suspect. Finally started feeling better after like the sixth day. And I had had like pink eye once during the RSV thing, and then um, it was pro it was after my roommates told me that they were positive. So like two and a half weeks into me being home, so March, middle of March again, I ended up getting. There was one week where I got pink eye three times, and I didn't really think anything of it. Like I felt fine. I just think that I don't. I really don't know. Like I think I probably had two different strains of corona or maybe one i definitely had corona at least once because my roommate like my immediate roommate that i was sharing the room with um was one of the girls that tested neck uh positive and back, i was back, there back, like back. i slept with her that night that she had a fever and like woke up with a fever so i don't know the whole thing is really like suspect um so i had pink eye three times and like I didn't know what it was, like I changed my bed sheets after, yeah. obviously it's like I wasn't like touching my eyes, like I was trying, I wasn't even putting makeup on, um, and I just kept getting pink eye. So I made a TikTok, but I have to wear glasses in my first one because I have pink eye. And now, of course, now they come out and they're like, yeah, pink eye is like a symptom, so I'm not really sure. So I went to the New Rochelle testing site, which is like the hot spot in New York, whatever, or was, now it's like all of New York. Service. Hey, Tom Offer is, is our writer. Ronnie Stern at the editor's desk. 
and I'm Bridget Quinn. Um, got tested literally a month later from when I got back from Italy. My test came back negative and my mom's came back positive. So um, we had all these like different like health officials calling her and stuff and calling me and they kind of just figured that from like the story that I had told them that I probably brought it back was asymptomatic, gave it to my mom. And now my mom's like asymptomatic. Well, I think she's negative, questionably. Um, but yeah, it was just, this whole thing has been like a mess. And yeah, it was crazy. Especially like being in Italy, like um, a few days before I left, there was like all this like talk and like gossip about them closing the clubs and stuff, which like, obviously I didn't go like to study abroad to go to clubs. <laughs> The fact that they were taking like those precautions was kind of like a red flag. I thought I'd make this video because I haven't posted in like a hot side due to everything that was going on, like all this freaking mayhem. This one has also had the craziest quarantine ever because um, this was like two weeks ago, so like four weeks into my quarantine. I've literally been under quarantine for like two months now. Everyone's complaining like, oh, this is my 20th day. I'm like, try two months. <sighs> Anyways, so I'm watching burlesque and all of a sudden I like see Stormy and she's like backing into my garbage can, knocking everything over. Her mouth is like, like, I was like, what the hell is going on? So, you know, me being a lifeguard, I'm like, okay, she's choking, like, let me save her. So I go to get her and I like see this, her mouth is like propped open, like by a piece of metal. And I was like, what? This is not my certification. So I run out, wake my mom up, it was like 11 or 12, she had just gone to sleep. And I was like, mom, ah, the cat has something in her mouth. Um, I get back in and now I see it, it's like a metal, it was a sewing needle, so it was a sewing needle, when I got back in it was a sewing needle in the roof of her mouth sticking out of the bot, like sticking like, uh. and I was like, oh my god, I tried pulling it out, it was like completely stuck in her like gums or something, so I turned my head for a second and then I turned my head back and it was gone, so I'm like looking at the floor, I'm like, like oh my god, why is this needle, um, and it was not there. So I kind of just figured she swallowed it and I called like a 24 hour vet hotline and I was like, I got swallowed, I'm sorry, you know what do I do? And they were like, you need to bring her in. So now it's like 12 a.m. and I'm driving to this vet in White Plains and I'm like literally freaking out because they wouldn't even let me in the building because of Corona. So I had to like drop her off um, at the door and they took the x-rays, they said that it wasn't even a, I thought it was a small sewing needle. They said the sewing needle was the length of her stomach and that she needed immediate stomach surgery. Yeah. Show them, show them your scar, your battle wound. I'm eating a sewing needle, stupid. Also guys, so I tried lashes today, look. I don't think I put them on correctly, but they are looking fine. So this is a day in the life of a lamb under quarantine and yeah how much everything sucks right now um so it's 12 4 this is usually when i eat breakfast on honestly um so we have like a crap ton of eggs because i bought od eggs thinking that we didn't have any um so i think that i'm gonna make like an egg white omelet or something right now Thank you.
Guys, I actually made like a lot, like a lot, a lot. So we're just gonna let that cook and eat it. So my dad is coming by soon to drop off um, a new hard drive because my old hard drive is like completely full. Um, so I'm gonna get that soon. But as of today, I need to go um, to the UPS store and just drop off a package um, that has me and my mom's old phones in it. And then um, maybe go grocery shopping. Like, I don't even know what we need. I think like we're fine, but I don't know. I've been like doing the grocery shopping for um, my grandma and then i just went down to queens the other day to like check in on my brother because he's like really sick quarantine chic okay i'm literally so confused i don't know if this is just a me thing or if this is a known thing but so the package says ups ground so like okay i'm gonna go to like any store now right so i went to the usps store and i called my mom because they didn't have like the thing that i could shove this in so then she was like no ups is different from usps okay like why are your acronyms the same anyways back to my routine i forgot that i'm like making this video usually what i'll do is eat lunch slash breakfast at 12 and then work out. like once it's digested and stuff and i'm like not like hungry hungry but like a little like little peck little peck of hunger then i will work out um whenever that starts which is usually around two three um which is time now so i am going to get my yoga mat and take off my shoes that i'm walking around that definitely have the rona on the bottom of them and uh, um, show you guys my workout. So oh, another thing that I've diverted off of, as you can tell, is that usually I don't do um, my exercise in a full phase of makeup, but because we're on the tube and I left the house today for like the first time in a week, I was like, you know what? Hey, maybe I'll get a little pretty today to wear a face mask the whole time. Perfect. Um, but yeah, so my exercise is... Um, I don't know. I know. I know you're supposed to like exercise a certain way. I don't know. I just do whatever. So sometimes I do some little crunches. Sometimes I'll do a little uh, squats um, and that never works. So that's good. Um, so you see, I just don't think I'm doing anything right. And I kind of just wing it all the time. And that's, uh, yeah, it works. It doesn't. We find out. I'm gonna keep watching Love Island. That's just like a little um, taste of my workout. I just like, oh, I had to switch my shirt. Um, so I'm gonna watch some Love Island and yeah.
I just took a bath and kind of refixed my face and everything after my like working out because I was feeling gross. Um, so I baked snickerdoodles and I actually had this idea since I made like a lot um, to drop some off to my grandma, my dad, and then I texted a few friends. Um, so I want to write like cute notes to like all of them and then I'm going to package them whatever and then go drive them out within like the next hour and then at 5.30 me and my mom have a painting class um, that my building was doing so I need to be back by then. So I'm going right now to drop off some cookies to a few people um, and I have to be back in an hour because that's when the painting class is. I gave her like OD cookies. Oh. Okay. Ask them what we're painting? No. This is mine. Mom, oh, what's yours? It's yours. How do you think it's going? It's going. Very cool. I know it's a tough time and I hope that everyone makes it out stronger than they came into this. Um, and I'm sending my love and prayers to everyone.